intrauterine insemination or IUI in very simple terms is that the sperms collected from the main partner is processed, washed and it's made sure that only the slightly better sperms which have a little more potency to swim are taken and they are placed directly via a catheter into the uterine cavity so that the work for the sperms is slightly reduced like they, ha they have a le lesser pathway to clear and, then they and they can swim directly into the tubes and reach the egg that has been released for that cycle. For some people, they can go for natural cycle IUI where they are not given any stimulation medicines. A follicular study can make sure whether they have ovulated or not and during the day of ovulation, the patient undergoes an IUI where these processed sperms are placed directly into the cavity. While some people who have a difficulty in figuring out when they ovulated or whether they are actually ovulating, specifically patients who have PCOD with irregular cycles etc. For them, they are given a small stimulation, maybe with tablets or with one or two injections. And by the 14th day, a trigger is given so that they can ovulate. Once ovulation is documented by a follicular study, then the same process of sperm washing and sperm processing is done and these sperms are directly placed into the cavity of the uterus. This increases the chances of conception by around 5-10%. to 10 Please note that it is almost as a natural cycle just that the sperms are processed and we know that the patient has ovulated and these sperms are spaced directly into the uterine cavity. When we talk about the success rate of intrauterine insemination, it's about 20%. You have to know that this is very similar to a natural method, just that instead of the semen being placed high into the vagina, a highly processed semen is placed directly into the uterine cavity. The rest of the work is done by the gametes themselves. The sperm still has to swim through the fallopian tube and it has to reach the egg which has been ovulated and the quality of the egg needs to be a good quality and so on and so forth. We cannot expect miracles out of IUI but a lot of patients have had the benefit with an IUI treatment. Steps of intrauterine insemination What actually goes on in a cycle when a couple is planning for intrauterine insemination? Let's say that the woman has started bleeding on the 1st of April. We consider that as day 1 of cycle. Once she reports to us on day 2, we do a scan, make sure there are no cysts and the endometrium is nice and thin and there's a silent picture. Then we give her ovulation induction medicines which ensures that a follicle grows in either one of the ovaries. Sometimes one or more follicles can grow depending on the type of medication given. We give tablets. These tablets are given from day 2 of the cycle till day 7 of the cycle. That is for 5 days. And then we do a repeat scan on the 9th or 10th day to see whether a follicle has grown, if it has grown, which side it has grown in and what's the size of this follicle. If this follicle is about 14 millimeters or so, we will wait for another 2 to 3 days. We do a repeat scan on day 14 and see whether it has reached maturity. A mature follicle is usually something that is more than 16 millimeters. And then for some people, if they agree to it, we can give them a trigger injection so that we know exactly when they ovulate. Once a trigger injection is given, usually people ovulate within 36 hours. So, after the trigger injection is given, we ask them to report back on the 36th hour or two days later to be easier. And then a follicle rupture is documented by free fluid present. And that at that time, the male partner is sent to collect semen and this semen is processed in the laboratory. Once this processed semen is received, then the patient is positioned and a small catheter as small as the refill of a pen is inserted into the cervix and this is injected into the cervix. It is not a painful procedure. Yes, there might be slight discomfort of the speculum being inserted but otherwise it's a fairly painless procedure. Please note that for an IUI to be successful, it is very important that the fallopian tubes are painted. These fallopian tubes are also tiny little tubes 
which should allow the sperms to swim through them and the eggs to reach the middle of the fish.